What's up guys? Gringo back in action again. We'll get back to this bad boy here in just a minute. But first, I'm gonna start with the Lima Echo. If you guys haven't subscribed to Lima yet, you guys are missing out. He's a good kid. Um, and I was part of his, uh, his live stream. I showed up a little bit late, but uh, you know, I uh, won the giveaway. So, you know, he's a kid. How can you take winnings from a kid? Well, if you're going to uh, put something up, you gotta learn how to let it go. So that's what's up. So what did I get? I got a 1905 Liberty Head design, V-Nickel, which is why I have this out here. This is my uh, rather sad typeset. I do have a few nice ones in here though. As you guys have seen before, I got my Flying Eagle, my uh, 1909 VDB, which is a, a pretty sweet coin. Indian Head, Lincoln Head, you know, an old, kind of beat up steel set, but not too bad. Of course, all those are empty, but you know, I haven't tried too hard to fill this uh, this thing out, but going with uh, my Liberty head, it's pretty sad looking. Matter of fact, their back detail is pretty sad. So this one here though, will uh, definitely be an upgrade. So that's where it's going to, uh, to live. But uh, going back to my type set, I do have a Buffalo Nickel, Jefferson, of course, the silver Jefferson, you know, the Barber Dime, Mercury, Roosevelt, you know, all your uh, regular normal coins here. Of course, I don't have the variety one SLQ, but you know, all in good time. Liberty Head, nice uh, Washington there, which just happens to be the bat, which also happens to be the V nickel. I mean, not the V, but you know what I'm saying, the W. So, uh, then of course, just your standard uh, Kennedys. My Morgan, I got from my grandma, Peace Dollar, Eisenhower, and then of course the uh, the back pages, which are nothing really special, but you know, it's all good. Of course, we got the Florida silver quarter in there. Of course, I'm an Iowa boy, but I uh, I live in Florida now, so just representing. But what else do I got here from Lima? So we've got the 1943, of course, silver S, silver war nickel. We've got the 1945 Philly war nickel. And then the 1942 P, Philadelphia war nickel. So thank you, Lima. Uh, I will have Lima's link in the description below um so go check him out he's a good kid uh, he puts out quality contact content uh, i've learned quite a few things from his uh videos so it's cool so go check him out then we get over to mr rft last week or so uh, cw ferg bought out the stream and uh, i believe a couple of the boxes went to the mods so i'm a mod on rt and he was uh, gracious enough to uh include me in to the mod boxes so what did i get i got a 61 benji 64 kennedy uh 240 percent kennedy half 67 69 a 52 washington and a uh pretty nice uh 1936 mercury dime which uh you know i love dime time so you know, that epic box that he pulled a couple weeks ago or so was pretty sweet. So, but thank you, C.W. Ferg. Thank you, RFT and uh, Charlani. I appreciate it. And what's this here? Well, so I wanted a uh, silver bar. And what silver bar is this, you may ask? It's number 79, which is perhaps the greatest year in history. So... This, this bad boy weighs 2.1 ounces. It's chunky. It's heavy. So, so we got number 79 here, which just so happens to be my number. So, um, any of the original members that, uh, bought this original coin here was then given the opportunity to get the silver, which just, just happens to be number 79 of 250. So these are the limited edition coins 
and or medals, I should say, uh, offered by uh, Rob. And so to keep the tradition alive, I requested number 79 because uh, it's just the way it is. So there's number 79. So thank you, Rob. Thanks, Lima. And uh, one more thing to do. We got a sticker that I do not have yet. So we're gonna walk up over here to the guitar case. As you know, lots of uh, fellow community members on the guitar case right now. So let's see if I can get the sticker off and put on the guitar case. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. You gotta love Gringo's videos. High quality. So, we're gonna put it right here. It's as good as any, right? It's a beautiful sticker, too, by the way. Which happened to be number 2350. So, sweet Lima, I appreciate it. Um, that's it, guys. So, have a great day. Stay safe. If you like the video, please like, subscribe. Uh, I will have the description below for, once again, for Lima and for Rob Pine's Treasure. So, uh, thanks, guys. Take care, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.